It's the animated classic Aladdin versus the 2019 remake. So come on down, stop on by, hop a carpet and fly to another movie feud. A movie. Aladdin is in a lot of Disney fans' top three, mainly for one man, Robin Williams. The performance is larger than life, and you can absolutely see why animators wanted Williams from the onset. The actor is essentially a cartoon come to life, so it only makes sense that his animated personality would make for a great character. This was the worry many had when it was announced that YouTube sensation Will Smith was going to be taking up the role of the genie in 2019. I'm joking, he's had a stellar career and he's more than capable to take on this role. Thankfully, he made it his own too, in terms of personality and the way he sang the songs. Unfortunately, since it is Will Smith, somewhere in his contract, he has the obligatory dance number at the end of the film, where all the characters line up and awkwardly dance towards the camera in some stupid fashion. I also believe Jasmine was in the background beatboxing at one point. Just full on cringe. Why, why does this happen, Will Smith? Why do you keep doing these? Speaking of Jasmine, she was always the weakest character for me in the original version. Obviously, she's beautifully drawn and a strong personality, but I was always more interested in Aladdin's antics with his entourage, Abu, the magic carpet, and of course, the genie. I think 2019's Jasmine, played by Naomi Scott, is the best part. She really brings this character to life and has a voice that puts most to shame. Same can't be said for many others in this picture. The cold, conniving Jafar, voiced by Jonathan Freeman, is completely deflated when played by Marwan Kanzari. The titular character, Aladdin, played by Mena Masood, just isn't that exciting either, and doesn't hold his own when compared to Scott Wingers. The most complexing part of all of this was not keeping Gilbert Godfrey's Iago. Like most of these live-action remakes, there is this misguided reasoning to take away the charms and quirky characteristics that made these beloved origins so... well, beloved. Nassim Pedra's Dahlia was a fun new character, but that apparently had to come at a price too. In this case, stripping away the loving and often humorous traits of the Sultan. I should also briefly mention the curious and oftentimes troublesome monkey Abu. Aladdin's best friend turns into my own personal nightmare in the CG written 2019 version. That thing is a monster. Agrabah seems like a nice place to live if you're powerful and rich. Although food and shelter come easier if you have these things, that doesn't mean life still can't suck. Just ask our poor Jasmine. Poor in heart, not in money. She's got a ton of it. She has to wed a prince. By force. She wants none of this and can often be found sneaking away from the palace to be amongst her people. That's where she meets Aladdin, and she's quite taken with him. And he of her. If you're not inside these palace walls, you're outside of them, roaming the city in search of food like a common street rat. Which is exactly what our titular character was doing. That is, until he was tricked into entering the mouth of a sand lion to steal a magical lamp for an old man. I think it's safe to say we've all been there at one time or another. So we can relate. Turns out the old man was actually a cunning sorcerer named Jafar. He will do whatever it takes to be seated at the throne. He would have done pretty well in GOT, but as it stands, didn't make a bad life for himself. He's seated at the right hand of the Sultan. He's got his ear because he's brainwashed him using the snake staff that he just has. Talks to a, a parrot who is um, fluent in English. He's like Meowth. From Pokemon. Long story short, Aladdin uses the lamp, becomes Prince Ali, learns he should just be himself to win the hand of Jasmine, and he frees the genie from his shackles. The story really stays the same between the two versions, although 2019 tries to spice things up a bit. Most of these changes don't necessarily make the story better, but at least it provides a reason to exist at all. For some. For me, it serves no purpose to exist. Let's move on. Prince Ali, fabulous he Biggest separator between these two movies is obviously the production. The 1992 original is hand-drawn animation at its finest, while utilizing some very early pre-Pixar studio technology. Musical numbers are some of the best in the Disney catalog. There isn't a bad song in the lot. 2019 knows this and sticks with the same music, albeit sung by new actors. An original song was also composed for Jasmine that crops up twice in the film. The first being a bit awkward as she busts it out willy-nilly for not even a full verse. The second is pretty much useless as she's singing about not being ignored, whilst being ignored 
in a room by yourself. So, who are you singing to, Jasmine? The song reeks of a frozen, let it go copy, but Naomi absolutely knocks it out of the park regardless. Visually, the live action version is a bit inconsistent. The colors are vibrant, the action moments are at times handled well, but then there's some really messy green screen, such as the carpet ride, or the odd use of slow motion mid-song. Will Smith, when in the genie form, can often be filmed awkwardly. There's this really uncanny valley thing going on with him. I wouldn't say anything in director Guy Ritchie's film is bad, but that doesn't mean it should be praised for being competent either. I didn't expect, nor do I think people did when they voted, that this was going to be a close feud. Because it's not. Disney is simply copying the same story, the same beats, the same music, and at times the exact same shots and repurposing them for a new generation of moviegoers. They are tracing their own films, and even if they have the steadiest hand, it's still a duplicate at the end of the day. The Movie Feuds audience saw this as well and gave Aladdin 2019 only 8% of the votes, making the original the clear-cut winner at 92%. Thank you for watching and possibly subbing, and remember, this is more than just reviews, this is Movie Feuds. I never thought when I started this channel years ago I would have so many options for Movie Feuds, between all the remakes, reboots, sequels, it just never ends. So, so thank you, Disney, for, for this and every movie studio out there. You are the worst now. Thank you for watching the movie feud. I hope you enjoyed it, and I want you to know that I have plenty more on this channel. So if you haven't subscribed already, why don't you go ahead and do that now? There, there's a lot at your fingertips. I got movie feuds, I got ranking videos, and I got traditional reviews here too. So stick around, we have fun. Oh, and if you are a supporter and want to go a little bit further, you can join me at Patreon at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies or right here on YouTube. You click that join button and you can throw a dollar or two my way every month. It's a win-win.